Hello, I'm George Borelli. Um, I made a bunch of videos on Teslas. I do custom seat modifications. I, I did uh, some videos on wind noise, some other issues with Teslas. Today's video is about rodent infestations and the problem they can cause. Rodent infestations, very serious problem. It doesn't matter if your car is in the garage, out in the field. Uh, rodents can get in it, and rodents do get in. Apparently, it's a very common problem. Um, the, but the Tesla is a unique car, so where do they get in? It looks like they get in underneath the frunk, uh, underneath the plastic, and I'll, I'll show you the details. So they get inside, they eat the wires, and now you got a big problem. The car could be um, disabled. Um, so I didn't know I had the problem. It turned out I had the problem with three vehicles, two of them outside, one's 100 yards away. So it really doesn't seem to matter where. Um, Comes the right time of year, cars are cool for rodents. So um, the reason I found out is that suddenly I lost my external temperature uh, uh, reading. It was stuck, it stayed at 68 degrees and it wouldn't change. But Tesla service comes, they opened it up and said, oh, rodents got in and they were done. They stopped right there. So I had to write another ticket. But in the meantime, I took it apart myself, I cleaned it all up. And uh, I actually repaired the, the wiring. So I'm going to show some close ups of how to get in here uh, and uh, how to fix it, how to prevent it. But it's got to go to the camera. That's what I'm going to do now. Okay, I'm over at the camera and I'm going to get some close ups. So the front is covered by this large piece of plastic and these smaller pieces of plastic. And the procedure to remove them is um, you, you pop this off. This, this goes up in here. You pop it off by hand. These things come right out. You just get your fingers around it and pop them up. Put, put your fingers near each one and pull them up. This will come out. And then I'll expose the top. Then next, you pull this out. Same idea. Uh, there's just three. You gotta just pop them out where you see those little white things that comes out. Now this here is a little different. There's actually seven bolts. This would be located right in the bottom there. There's seven. There's one there, one there, one down the bottom, one down the bottom, one there, and one there, and finally one here. Now to access these two, what you have to do is you pull this up, this cover comes up, you get your fingers underneath it, it just pops out, it hooks in in the bottom, it pops out from the bottom, and then the pop top pulls up. I left it connected just because the, the connector is kind of tricky, and then I just fish this thing through this hole when I pull this whole thing out. You need to pull this whole thing out because you won't be able to see um, so what I found when we pulled it out, we were looking at the temperature sensor. The temperature sensor is actually right there. I'm shining a light. I taped it up. For now, I did, I did repair the wiring. That whole harness that goes all the way across should and can be replaced, but I'll have to buy it. Either Tesla will install it or I'll do it myself. But what I found was there was major nest right down in here and right over here. But I also found uh, tra trailings down in here, the bottom, where the white is. The white is actually a two-sided tape I put in. And then down here where the white is. And then I found a pretty good sized mess down up here. I cleaned it all up. I didn't see any more, but it could be really costly. I've actually heard of a case where it totaled a car. So we've got to stop them. So what can we do to stop them? Uh, we can't block it. Even though Teslas are nice, they have pretty good bottom coverage. The problem is that this is this has access directly to the road. That's the drive shaft. That's a drive shaft. That's the motor and gearbox. It's too big a hole. We wouldn't be able to, and it caused more problems than not trying to block it. So I think block it's impossible or nearly impossible. Rodents can get in a dime size hole, or the mice can. And I heard that rats can get in quarter size holes. So there's no way we're gonna get in here to stop this. So 
we've got to do something else. So what I found during research is, um, I tell you what doesn't work. What doesn't work is um, Irish Spring doesn't work, mothballs don't work, dryer sheets don't work, and vanilla extract doesn't work. Do not use them. Uh, this guy, Sean, did a lot of testing, and the testing is very, very good. So the only thing I saw that worked is peppermint. So I bought peppermint essential oil. I put drops down in here, drops over here. I think this plastic is is resilient enough uh, to oils, so I don't think it's going to eat anything. Um, I have some down there now. Um, let's see, no, it's it's not it's not going to it's not going to hurt it. So this is just peppermint, and in, in you know it's probably diluted in some kind of oil. But this stuff has to be somewhat oil resistant to put in a car. I also put double-sided tape. I don't know if that'll work, but down in there is double-sided tape. Down here is double-sided tape. At least it'll annoy them if not stop them. Um, so between the peppermint and the tape, that's what I've done to the car. Then I'm gonna put the car back together. What I do is I take this, put this piece over, uh, th snake this through, set it back in, put the seven bolts back in, um, and then uh, put the uh, piece that goes here and then put the whole piece. These just snap back in. Um, the big piece does snap in a little bit, but just in these corners, there's a snap here, and there's a snap here, and there's a snap over there. Uh, that's about it. The rest of it's held in by, um, by the bolts, 10 millimeter bolts. Um, just use a socket wrench. Um, so then once you get it in, you snake this through, and then I just press this in, and this just snaps in as well. Then you're back in business. The other thing I did, and I don't know if it works, but I, um, I got these uh, plug-in, like that thing right there is a plug-in ultrasonic repeller. And I don't know if that's gonna work. It's a pretty big garage. Got one there, got one there, and I got one. Over, over that side, and I think I have one over there too. Yeah, there's one, one in there. So all around the front area of the garage, I put them in. But I'm also going to put an ultrasonic sensor uh, um, repeller uh, in the car, uh, this compartment, uh, which would have been the engine compartment in ice car. We'll see if that works. I'll have to report later. Um, so hopefully this is helpful. Um, rodent infestation is terrible. It can ruin your car. So take, take precautions now. Do what you can to prevent it. Um, uh, it. It can be very, very costly and very upsetting when your car's not working and it may break down on the road. So please, if this helped you at all with your Tesla, please uh, subscribe. I need subscriptions um, and I need likes. I just don't have that many. I know a lot of people get some value out of my stuff. But there's very few subscriptions. Uh, need more. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now.